Oh, oh Grey Deer gets double LMGs. That's pretty funny. Oh, Sniper. Oh my god! Hello everyone, this is Grayshot17, and today I'm covering a 4v4 on the map, Lands Earth Ambush. We got ourselves a number of key players in this game, from Manta, Winx, German Guy, Taz, versing uh, Serzant, uh, Watch Mr., uh, Halu, and Robson. What are these names? Anyway, uh, we got two British, two uh, uh, Soviet, versing three Austere, and uh, one OKW. If you're currently watching this live on Twitch, you can check their current ranks, as well as uh, overall in play time. It does show they have a good amount of experience, but again, rank doesn't matter in that aspect. It really just means games won other things. That's why I have that option for Twitch viewers. But if you have a great game with high rank players, you can submit it via my Gmail or Discord down below. Remember, I do uh, appreciate any replay and stuff I get. I'll try to cover it, though not guaranteed. It's just a chance. As But a thing you can also do is like and subscribe this video on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, Whatever the case may be, any support is greatly appreciated to help out my channel. So, thank you guys very much. Again, we just passed 20,000 uh, subscribers on Twitch. We just passed 4,800 on, uh, sorry, 20,000 on YouTube, 4,800 on Twitch. Thank you guys, seriously, for everything that you guys do. Meanwhile, all right, let's check to see how this game's going. Kubel and Sturm. Melee Sturm's having a bad day, being pop-shotted by FG Section and great cover. Which, again, gives them their bonus. So, awesome job right there. Put Easily pushing back the Kubel. Uh, they get in the building, but again, not sure how long they're going to last there. Polish. They're Polish names, 117. Oh, good to know. Okay. Uh, for those who don't know, actually, uh, my dad's side was pretty much entirely Polish. Uh, and uh, recently I did, uh, what is it, uh, Ancestry? I think I, I think that was the website I used. Um, essentially showing lineage and found that uh, came from, technically it was... Russian territory at the time on in Ukraine, but uh, or like the Ukraine area, but it would have been Polish land. It's weird, but it was a Polish. It was a small Polish town Anyway, uh, it was land that technically was uh, under that like Russian Empire uh, thing, but uh, Came to the United States back in like 1906 1908 around there. So Some really cool stuff. I need to find out more stuff about my mom's side, but still Anyway, uh, on the far side, we got Penals and uh, fighting Grenadiers with some real engineers helping against the Pioneers. Uh, let's see. We have enough for a satchel. Uh, looks like a uh, German guy going with a Penal and Sniper. A lot of heavy, uh, sorry, sorry, not heavy. A lot of expensive units. So we'll see how that fares. Sniper and MG lighting up the Penals and real engineers. But... Let's see, Grandiers and, uh, again, another sniper in cover, opening fire, or out of cover, sorry, open fire. Maybe you can counter snipe it, but again, German guys, be very careful, just given the amount of infantry in the sector. Let's see, Taz's infantry got sent back. We have a universal carry, though, that can come on in to help hold the front. Again, he's going to hold fire, maybe give the uh, an opportunity to snipe or counter snipe that sniper, which would be fantastic. Meanwhile, it's a battle on the flanks, not really much happening in mid. But on the flanks, at the very least, Manta and Winx are successfully using MGs to push back the Germans. Um, looks like a lot of their infantry, both support infantry and frontline, are having a real tough time fighting uh, the British forces and Soviets as they slowly advance. I like how Winx is blocking his territory. Mortar fire comes in on the German MG, forcing it back. The OKW and Ostia are having a real rough time. Again, uh, Wok, uh, Mister, is getting another... Oh, sorry, he himself is getting a sniper. So we're gonna have two, we're gonna have three snipers on the field. Very interesting indeed. Very interesting gameplay. Sniper had to pull back. This one was fine. I'm assuming the uh, the the uh, Soviet sniper got revealed. Universal carrier trying to get some flame shots on the grenadier, but again, has to keep its distance, otherwise it'll get fausted. Uh, grenadiers get faust early on. OKW okay, have a little bit more time. Infantry still pushing forward, but again, they're. Quite a bit weaker, and now I'm assuming the Grand Deers have rifle. Oh, they don't! He has the ability to get it, but he's yet to get Battle Phase 1. That's interesting. Because, again, Rifle Grenade would have been perfect on that target. I, I'm assuming that Manta might build a Ford Assembly back here so he could reinforce. That could also be very good. Um, it would help the Soviet uh, counterpart as well. We'll see if he does. 
Uh, meanwhile, there's a Pioneer going for mid. Makes sense. Right now, it's dead even with the victory points. You want to make sure you start putting pressure on the enemy. So if you send one unit to grab the victory point, hell, you can even decap the fuel. Not a bad idea. Meanwhile, on Lazarus Ambush, uh, you still have this flanking opportunity. But again, looks like it was blocked by barbed wire. So Robson making sure it can't be flanked. Uh, what is... Oh, he did get Fausted, but there's our engineer to heal. We have a lot more infantry section, as well as an assault officer. So Taz looking like he can definitely bring the firepower to the Germans. The Germans don't have much. They have a grenadier and a sniper that are on the front, but not... Like, you're going to need more front line to really hold back the enemy. Luckily, there is... Assault Grenadiers? You got Assault Grenadiers after like a... Oh, okay. Five minutes into the game. Sure. German forces flanking the Brits. Again, this infantry section. We're still waiting for that Ford Assembly. Finally done. Folk Squad might try to pick it. Uh, Still going to be fine. Medic's there as well to heal up the infantry. That's nice. Infantry section just overextending himself. There's no way this guy's going to do all that well. This Universal Carrier, though, does have an MG. So if he does try to push up with infantry, he can suppress. So, not bad. Uh, mortar's still there and some engineers to put some pressure. And it looks like that Winks went more support rather than front line. Which, I guess that makes sense. Have the British push with their infantry slowly but surely. And then have the uh, so Soviet support. Again, uh, Walk Mister is just having his... And uh, Sniper just light up the Soviet and British forces. Uh, MG very low on health, but somehow survives. Universal Care going in for a flanking maneuver. But Grenadiers see him from a mile away and goes, goes in for the flank. Uh, he's very close to getting fousted, but stays just out of range. And will now run around that uh, building and get out there before he gets uh, hit by an AT shot. British for uh, sorry, Soviet force on the far side. Uh, uh, faring better. This sniper, Halu, has 13 kills. MG holding back the Universal Carrier, but the penals are the biggest issue. Uh, sniper is going to fire a shot. Does not have enough resources. Oh, now he does for a special shot. Rifle Grenade fires, hits the penals. Let's see. Flamethrower hitting the Grenadier. MG suppressing the uh, penal force. Faust hits the Universal Carrier. Sniper moving on in. Still not close enough for a counter snipe. Does snipe the MG though and gets that kill. Though Red Ears are right there, so German guys be a little bit careful. Ground Engineers moving on in, but again, you still have that uh, German sniper in the back. The Soviet sniper again got that kill. Great, but it's nowhere. It's not now in opposition. And that German sniper has 17 kills. God damn, it is doing fairly well for itself. This sniper, by the way, is five for reference. But again, it is newer. Five-man squads with infantry section. Uh, again, the bunker is going to have an MG here shortly. So they want to back up and make sure that they don't get suppressed. Gets in the building. So even if he does get shot at, he won't get suppressed. Okay, this squad will get suppressed. Half-track being deployed by Serzant. Doctrine-wise, we have spearhead. So good support and heavy armor. Fortifications has some good defenses as well. Halu is strategic reserve, which is what, how he got the assault grenadiers. Interesting choice early on to have that, but I don't mind it as, as one unit. I just hate when people use it in mass because it lacks AT and then doesn't scale as great later on. All right, but again, this doctrine allows for a Tiger Ace, which can be very good. Um, no heavy tank destroyers as of yet, although we do have a Pack 43, which could be very solid against uh, armor charges. Could get an elephant. Also, no direct strike. No, we don't have any direct strikes. Allies has gone with wings with Soviet industry. Great for healing and a good uh, infantry killer. And also a support against armor as well. But I think the KV-2 is more designed against infantry killing than armor. Um, heavy bombers, which is great by Taz. And German guy as well as an IL-2. So great for countering artillery. Uh, so far, the only artillery that really in mind is Sarzant. But... Again, we could also have this player go with Storm Doctrine or, yeah, Storm Doctrine, which could bring out more LAFHs. So, it's always good to have a direct strike, as well as kill killing armor in the back lines. It's also going to be something great. Bunkers on the field, lots of German infantry. I'm not seeing much in the Allied perspective, so I don't think the right side's going to... Wait, grenade? Oh, so close to getting a good wipe. Oh, Mortar almost gets a wipe on that. Great, here will probably wipe that infantry section. Unfortunate for Taz, if that does happen, but... As it goes. Sometimes you get unlucky with those mortars. Uh, this is... Oh, only if you had resources. 
Oh, I guess he used it for the bundle. But just saying, all the grenades would have been amazing against the penals. Oh, Satchel, you're not moving. Okay, he does move. That could have been close. Halu could have lost a lot of men, but he did get out of there just in time. AT gun firing, trying to kill the bunker. Universal carrier blocking the side. Uh, again, half track moving in, which could be a little risky. But uh, you will hit. AT gun can quickly reposition once it gets bet one. Now AT gun knocks out the universal carrier. Doesn't kill it, just kills the crew. So they could recrew it. All right. Uh, if tree section pushing forward, AT gun trying to back them up, but tries to kill the bunker instead. I'm not sure what Manta's doing. Is there any AT? Not really. He just kills the bunker. I guess that was the whole goal. How do you tree move up and then kill the bunker and run? But still. All right. At least they got something. I don't think it's worth the universal care. It would be hilarious if the Germans took that, but it, it did die. All right. On the far side, Sniper lying in wait. To try to kill. Wait, hold on. Nope. It's still alive. 18 kills. The Halu Sniper is coming back to the front. Again, we have this Scout Sniper with about four. I guess be very careful with the Assault Grenadiers nearby. Luckily, he's staying in cover, so he doesn't reveal himself. Again, uh, Taz opening fire with the Assault Grenadiers. Grenadiers as well firing. Sniper gets a great shot, bringing the Assault Grenadiers down quite considerably. Again, we have this forward position. Uh, okay, it's not going to be a retreat point, but it can still heal and deploy commandos, which is quite nice. So commandos could flank, but we know for a fact it's blocked, so no real flank going to come of it. We'd have to waste some explosives to break through. German forces down to a single... Why would you have that there? Sniper, get the kill. Or Universal Carrier does it. Also, free MG42. Ah, there we go. Okay, unfortunately, this carrier did die killing that unit, but it's fine. Oh, Grey Deer gets double LMGs. That's pretty funny. Oh, Sniper. Oh, my God. Holy shit. He, he literally walked into it. The Sniper's like, I'm going to be so cheeky and flank. And the Sniper's like, oh, shit. It's like the Franz Ferdinand effect where the guy, like, I was like, well, I missed my chance to assassinate that man. Oh, well. Maybe I should rethink my life. Maybe I should change my... Change my life and be a better per- Oh shit, is that Franz Ferdinand? Oh, oh god, alright, let's go. Anyway, penals open fire. Panzer IV light up the penals. Again, German force is still holding that sector, even though they did lose that sniper. Like an enemy of the gate. Uh, I don't think he has any AT, does he? Oh, Kromos coming in, but no, no AT on the front. And German guy has uh, guard forces, but they're back at base. So yeah, Panzer IV is going to run wild. Commandos are going to die. Infantry section is going to die. This base is going to die. So it's unfortunate, but I, I would uh, suspect Taz will be on the defense on this area for some time. And then refocus. Maybe have uh, German guy focus here and then Winks. And uh, Manta fight on left. Because they seem to be having better luck on their front. But that's just me. Artillery from the Zis gun hits the Sturm. The building can take quite a many blows. And he's going to pull back. Does he have a medical facility? Actually, that's a good question. What does he have? He does have a medical facility. But it's back at his base. Not terrible. I get the concern with artillery and dark strikes. But it does make for long retreat paths. Which is unfortunate. Anyway, Panzer IV flanks the Zis gun. No snares. Again, most of the conscripts are far away. They did upgrade the 7-man squads, which is pretty good. Now we have a 6-pounder hitting them, and now they're going to be snared. So this Panzer IV is most likely going to die. Yep. Tineri going to hit the uh, mortar. MG is going to still try to suppress him. I would get out of the arc that he's being shot at, but that's just me. Right now, MG in mid, but Pioneers are just outside of its sight, so he can take over the territory. All right, here comes German guy once again. Popping a flare to see what the enemy has. Again, a lot of the German forces retreated. They didn't want to be overextend themselves, which I give props to. A lot of times, uh, people will just keep holding that position at the farthest outskirts without reinforcing or doing anything. So, I'll give that credit. I will say they probably need a reinforcement position over here. Halu has... Uh, could easily build a bunker. 
Again, same thing with Robson. They could make it so that way there's a medical command post and just heal, right? That would be most likely beneficial. T-34 chilling in mid. Again, trying to clear the territory. There is mines here, but he can just do circles and clear all of them without taking all that much in terms of damage. Let's see. Conscripts just hiding behind the high wall in case the Germans push. And by God, here come the Grenadiers. Uh, which he has a tier three building. I mean, I, he could deploy like a Stug or something for if he wants something quick to deploy, but we'll see. Right now, again, uh, Sir Zahn is getting a Panther, so we can easily deal with what, what's Manta have. Manta's actually not gone with any armor as of yet. Uh, as far as I can tell, has gone with. A, oh, he's gonna get a Comet. Nice. So hey, at least he's. At the very least, that Panther should be able to go toe toe with that Comet. I find the fu this funny where engineers trying to charge a bunker. They're currently being suppressed and losing most of their life because of that. Nice shot though, with a uh, with the AT gun killing that bunker once again. Manta becoming an expert at killing bunkers at this point. Grenade throw from the assault officer kills the uh, Rakenwerfer. Again, probably retreat at this point though. You have a forward position here, so at least it's not long. Although you do need to activate that forward a retreat position. Gradiers being lit upon by that T-34. T-34, remember to back up. Good job, Winks. Oh, wait, are you still... No, he did not get fausted. Good. Shrek team, though, is lying in wait. Conscripts dodged the bundle. British forces, uh... I don't know if you can really press with what you have. It's a lot of AT. Reversing a lot of infantry. So, yeah, maybe just pull back. Again, I still think you should activate that, but I think he just forgot. There's an officer awaiting orders. That or, he, or he's worried about the retreat path. That could be it. But I think he should be fine. Guard forces as well as AT from the six pounder. Oh, sorry, is this? This, uh, sorry, the six pounder is over here. That'd be a Zis gun. Uh, push back the Panther on this side. We have the Cromwell uh, being lit on, uh, lit upon by the Pack 40. Cromwell pulls back. Infantry section guards the victory point, taking it and stopping the bleed that the Allies have been suffering. They're down about 170 v uh, VPs, so they need. They, they need to gain a little bit more momentum. They need to... But let's see. One aspect I will say is neither side has a lot of caches. We only have one cache per. So they're not really... They're not really escalating the resources, right? They're not building up for long term. Right now, they're just keeping it... They're, they're just hoping to use what they have rather than build something for the future. Panzergrad here throw a bundle, but miss. Again, if G section is being... Uh, they're both being blocked by smoke, so neither of them can engage... Uh, right. And when they can engage, uh, give it to the infantry section. And the guards. Because, yeah, they have DPs that can easily shred this Panzer Grandier squad. We do have an MG in the back. And I think that, yeah, there's still this bunker here. Germans are making a lot of bunkers this game. But no, like, reinforced bunkers, which is interesting. Don't forget your reinforced bunkers. They really come in handy to keep your men on the front. Guard troops and penals advancing. If they can button... With the, uh, right now with these forces, they can maybe throw a satchel, but there's so much German infantry. Oh, nice grenades. German guy taking heavy losses and has to pull back. That's going to make uh, Taz on the, go on the defense. And here comes the Germans launching an offensive attack. There is a sniper here to help, but again, a lot of German infantry. Itchy section holding what, what they can. Maybe pull back before your sniper dies. Sniper died. Luckily, six pounder and Firefly push back the Panther. Again, is this gonna get a final shot? Yes! German guy coming in clutch. My loss is Sniper, but did indeed kill that unit. Halu also losing quite a number of his men. Panzer IV going down. Germans losing quite a lot of their stuff. Cromwell pushing forth against the Assault Grenadiers. It's like this man is asking to die. Like, what? Why are you charging with two models? Okay, luckily he does get out of there. On the flip side, Winks launched an offensive against the German player. Looks like they did kill something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. But Panthers going in on his T-34, so... Yeah, not exactly great. S-85 is returning fire, and we do have some, again, additional AT brought by Manta, including a Rakenwerfer and Piat forces. Keep the Panthers at bay, though Grand Ears could probably shred some of those Royal Engineers. Is this gun as well opening fire? 
A lot of Panthers, but again, at least the Allies have plenty of AT to keep that armor away. MG in mid to suppress the Pioneer. Hopefully allowing the Allies to recapture that territory. Though again, I feel like a lot of Wings forces are currently tied down against the Grenadiers. Saw Officer trying its best to fight over the middle position. Okay, now is the... Okay, Pat can retreat here, which is good. MG section being hit by artillery. That's thanks to Sarzant. Again, the fortifications. We do have Robson going Storm Doctrine. So he himself also has a direct strike. And yeah, actually getting some good blows. Again, uh, right now Robson has a Brumbar, the, uh, some great ears and stuff. Hold on, flanking opportunity by a Panther. I'm saying is Robson could easily help bring on the Artie Fest against the Allies, which may not need to happen. Right now, Shrek teams and Panther bring down the Cromwell's health quite considerably. Commando's trying to step in to save it. Cromwell trying to run it over. Good use by Taz with his armor. Again, if the Shrek is constantly... If, sorry, if the Panzer Grandiers are constantly moving, they can't fire their Shreks. Can we get the kill? No, looks like the Panzer Grandier will survive. Pack Gun pushes back the Firefly. C Caddy shots hit the Mortar. And possibly the Assault Grandier if he moves over just slightly. Panther pulls back. Shrek teams go after the infantry, not the armor. Probably should focus on the armor. But whatever. Grandier is pushing on in. Could Faust this Firefly, backed by a pack. We, Taz could lose everything. Mortar Pit's gone, Firefly's gone. Caddy did pull back. Cromwell's barely alive, but still in the front. SU-85 though, covering. Panther needs to escape, but I don't think he will. SU-85, can we get the kill shot? We do, no bounce for that Panther. And the SU-85 gets the kill, but is about to be Fausted again. And Pack could as well finish off the SU-85 if he turned, but he doesn't. Guard force is going to cover the SU-85, allowing it to escape. Though, maybe the Werfer could do something? Just saying. Werfer, get a nice close shot right there. Kill it. By the way, chat, again, I reinforce. I pick replays at random. I pick some from people I don't know, some people I do know. And the goal is just get a nice assortment from a different variety of players. 1v1s, 3v3s, 4v4s, etc. Oh, this would be a great Werfer shot. Come on. Where is he? Halu. Use the force of the Werfer and get that, get, kill some of these infantry section. You can do it. I believe. I do like how it's a back and forth here. I, I truly thought Taz and German guys should have lost this front a while ago, but no, they keep fighting. Brumbar gets a good shot. Force the enemy back. There's still that Shrek team if they want to pick that up. Do not give it to the Assault Grenadiers, please. They, they're meant for, I mean, yeah, because again, that would stop this, I believe. So yeah, please don't. Please don't. P maybe get to a Pioneer or a Panzer, uh, anything. Anything else. It, p again, that's why we give like Royal Engineers Piots, because again, that's support infantry. Not infantry meant for close range, especially when uh, the other units have strikes themselves. Anyway, looks like some losses being taken by the Germans. Panther goes down. KV-8 burning away the infantry. SV-85 backing on up. Wings needs some help. Um, does he repair? You know, Wings, I'm just saying. You went Soviet industry. Those repair stations looking mighty nice right about now if you can make some to heal you up your armor. Again, the infantry is being blunted. Manta does have a croc on the field. Very nice. They'll, again, just, just combine the croc with the KV. Just help burn the enemy all the way back to their base. More cash is going down thanks to Winx being a team player. Germans have not followed suit. They've only stole this one cash. So resource-wise, the Allies doing quite well for themselves. <laughs> Winx playing this game, rip Allies. No, Winx is doing actually pretty well. He's currently, again, there's repair stations. Very nice job. But no, he's so far doing pretty good. Um, all the Allies are doing okay. There's been some blunders, but I, I there's nothing, nothing nearly as bad as last game. You want a you want a game that would like really screw over your allies? Look at last game and do exactly what those uh, uh, ally players did. Six pounder moving on up to take the territory. Backed by the croc, the panther really can't do much. Nice flare. Uh, who did the flare? Was it the Soviet? 
Oh, the Soviet mortar, I think. Good job. Revealed the enemy, allowed his team to see something, and then boom. Mantu was able to come in and get some good blows. Actually, he might be able to move him with the croc and burn down that church. I mean, I'm not... Listen, I'm not saying you should burn down churches, but when there's Germans inside and it's a prime target, that croc, I'm just saying, it's perfect. It's a perfect opportunity. Anyway, KV-8 moving on in against the Grenadier. Uh, should easily push that unit away. <laughs> Again, using its mighty flamethrower to do a lot of damage. S still, I will keep in mind that the allies shouldn't push up all that much. Uh, they may not know their mines there, but it's probably a good idea to have sweepers clear the area first. Before you do a charge. German forces taking the vi victory point on this side back. Using pack gun fire to push back the Cromwell. We have uh, Grenadiers. Assault gren we have a lot of stuff. I Halu's saving up for a Tiger race at this point. Alright. Right now, I'm a... Oh, no, he's getting a Panther. I, I thought he was going to save up for a Tiger race, but no, he's not. Okay. Has he fired the Werfer yet? Once and he missed. Okay. Right now, German guy doing what he can. Has a lot of manpower. Probably could use a bit more men. But at least he has artillery to help counter fire, right? So, that's something. Enemy artillery is not gone all that many kills. I'm just checking in. Oh, the other one died. Okay, good. So the other LEFH did perish. So German guy is helping his team with direct strikes. Again, Yagpons are getting made for more defensive play. Croc burning down the church with the MG inside. Very nice. That way he can clear the way for his infantry. Again, infantry section now can move on in. Actually, he could... Does he have smoke? Maybe pyrotechnics? So that way he can get additional sight and block the sight of this or have the croc you can take the hits whatever the case may be oh warfare fires uh does only have damage only two models that's not too bad wings guarding mid allowing for the bps to, uh to tick down against the germans il2 strike coming in against the artillery oh still alive german guy missing a full full bombing run on that target but that's still okay because again as long as wings can keep using recon and german guy can keep calling it out at least you won't have to worry about the uh lfh just becoming a like a vet three nuisance that it's like just unending mg section doing what they can to hold the front assault grand ears not really performing all that great but i could have if you watched my tier list video i could have told you that anyway guard forces backed up by penals moving on in Manta says missed. What? Not sure what it was, but sure. Anyway, Germans still pushing. They might go through the forest area. This SU-85 could be in turmoil very soon if they get the double fat elves in. No, he had said we have a satchel? Run? He might actually lose his penal, so that's unfortunate for the... Gr uh, no penal? Oh, yeah, penal goes down. Yeah, if it's very low on health, don't throw the satchel. SU-85 backs on up. German forces pressing in. Actually, a big press in mid. Jagdpanzer, Panther, all sorts of stuff. Winks could lose a lot of his army right now, which would confirm Major's theory that Winks is a bad player. KV-8 does go down. SU-85 and Zisk got open fire. But Manta coming in to save his teammate along with conscripts to maybe snare some of it. Forces in the back line. Direct strike comes on in against... Uh, was it? Sorry, German guy's artillery. S-85 did get uh, fausted. We also have a dead Katusha, so again, German guy losing quite a bit. Luckily, Vet 3 Commandos by Taz hold the front with ease, with Firefly and additional AT support keeping the armor at bay. Werfer does fire. Not really doing all that much, honestly. Not doing all that much. Meanwhile, Croc burning away the Germans, trying to push back their, their, their offensive, and yeah, conscript maybe retreat, but overall they're doing quite well at holding mid. And we have a KV-2 coming on up, so the Germans like, ah, oh, we dealt with most of the Soviet forces. What could they possibly deploy? Oh, buddy. Oh, you have no idea. And there goes most of the Volk Squad's health and dignity. Croc backing on up against Ford by Firefly with solid infantry, so Manta doing quite well. Again, this guy repositioning himself. He's like, all right, I can't fight Manta. I'm going to fight more mid. Tiger on the field with Shrek Fire Croc now in trouble. 
All right. But Firefly, though, coming on the Tiger. Shrek teams hit the Firefly, sending it back. Crockett, a nice shot on that Panzer Grenadier squad, though. Doesn't kill it, but still puts it in its place. This gun coming in. Had to help out his best buddy. Firefly as well, stand by in case the, you know, Tiger decides to push in. On the far side, again, more battling between Grenadiers. We have a Jaeger Command Squad. Multiple Panthers. Brumbardi healed. Again, this is, where is, like, the company command post? No, sorry, wrong thing. Where's the bunker, uh, like, command post? The reinforced infantry. That would be super solid for these guys. But what do I know? Also, wouldn't Pioneers be better? Just just saying. Anyway. Uh, okay, Penal's grabbed a Bren gun, because why not? Fire, double Firefly by Taz. And the Cromwell's still kicking. So at least he has something to counterattack here in a minute. And Fireflies can easily push back a single Panther if he does charge. KV on standby. Again, I think you should get closer to fight that. So far, we've yet to see any Pack 43s, which is probably the big thing, my, or my biggest concern, right? Because I figure Red would want to, like, build a Pack 43 here to try to keep all this armor at bay. But he's not. He hasn't done that yet. Um, instead of relying on just normal AT and Yagpanzers and Panthers. Which is fine, but a Pack 43 could be super solid. And Winks... And Manta, okay, Manta does have a concentrated fire operation, but still, a surprise Pack 43 with an armor push could do serious damage. Uh, speaking of damage, infantry section just dishing out damage against the support equipment lying about on the front, trying to hold back the British, but just not really working out all that great. Let's see. Infantry on, uh, again, just looking to be reinforced. Has to run all the way back to base. Saw officer moving on in with the infantry section. Again, we got to light game and bomb them. Because we already have artillery coming on in. No, just going to shoot him to death. That makes sense. Panther coming up, but again, needs to watch out for the fireflies. Which, by the way, side note, Last of Us show, highly recommend it. It is awesome. I wish the Halo show was that good. God damn. Panther also wishes it was good. Immediately gets put down by three tank destroyers. Cromwell now coming on up. Werfer decides to just charge. And like, don't worry, I got this. Immediately dies. But, uh, yeah, new episode of Last of Us comes out today. I'm super pumped. Pack hitting the SU-85. Empty section uh, being hit by the Werfer. But, again, still relatively fine. Pack gun could, though. I'm mean, getting stunning. Stunning the Cromwell would have been great. To, like, to pin it. And to, uh, that way you could, maybe the Panther could get some additional shot or something, but alas, did not happen. Brumar gets a great shot against the guard forces, sending him away. And Germans might actually be able to grab the victory point here. Um, on the other side, SU-85 goes down, which again confirms, uh, oh my god, Firefly goes down too. Damn. All right. Watch, mister. Great job with that counterattack, though. You did get snared. Again, solid job getting some great kills on Winks. And uh, Manta alike, though Manta is bringing up more armor. Yeah, we have a Comet coming up. Infantry section trying to clear the AT. Panther now possibly in turmoil if the armor continues to advance. AT gun's gone. Tiger trying to cover, but it can only take so many more hits. Wait, we have some... Zeroing is now in effect. Okay. Well, that would have been great if you had recon, but you need to still see these guys. And let me guess, you can. Nope. There is no recon in this sector, so they cannot hit that uh, with any zeroing. There, there's no, nothing being revealed in this sector. So, that's unfortunate. Also, a lot of repair, uh, well, a couple repair facilities. So, at least the armor can be healed quite quickly. And Royal Engineers giving them the war speed upgrade on that comet so it can increase its speed. And hopefully chase down anything that's, you know, trying to escape. Croc still trying to hold back the infantry. Not much they can do to stop that because it's at full health. Recon flying overhead, though. So maybe they can focus. Well, that's a bit late. Recon would have been better when the zeroing was actually started, not when it ends. Speaking of recon, the, we have the Brits using recon. And that's all part of uh, Taz's doctrine, uh, which is assault. Essentially, again... Boosts infantry and provides recon, all for 90 munitions. 
what an amazing uh, bonus. Well, uh, it's, it's one of the best abilities in the game, honestly, for what it does for help out with recon, how many recon planes it deploys, and the boost on the infantry. Brumbar trying to hold back the enemy. Get some decent shots. Again, if you need to go longer range, Bunker Buster is not bad to use. Alright, another Panther being deployed. Also, it looks like Orange is going maximum Werfer. We'll see if... But, again, I don't think he's gotten that many squad wipes with it. He's kind of missed. A lot. SU-85s and Fireflies are pushing back the Brumbar. It is barely alive with about, like, 20% health. Will escape, though. Werfers might not be so lucky if he, they stay on the front. But the Germans are losing quite a number of their support equipment and men trying to hold. Meanwhile, we have Manta going in for a possible flank on the left-hand side. Once again, quickly dealing with this guy's bunker. Panther trying to come in, but there's a Firefly and a Comet. D uh, buddy, you're not going to do all that much. Right now, the Germans, while they do have a decent-sized army, just are lacking... They're lacking, like, the big kills. And they've... And unfortunately, the Allies have been pretty driven to fight, even with very few men. And so far, that's been working out. I feel like, like, the artillery needs to be better. Like, the LAFH has been knocked out. The Werfers can't hit shit. <laughs> like, they need to actually get some wipes. Otherwise, the Allies will just keep building momentum. Because right now, they're in the mid-80s. Axis are averaging, like, mid-70s. So... All right, but maybe they have something over here. Panther and Tiger on standby. We have a Kamikaze uh, that almost hit the Allies. Saw Officer uh, revealing what they have there. There's a Mortar just chilling. I guess it was like, yeah, who cares? Maybe we'll get something else. Not sure. Is Infantry just chilling at base? Maybe deploy that. Yagpons are being overwhelmed. We have another artillery piece in the back, but I'm surprised that won't be targeted. Yep, there's the... There's German guys, IL-2, right on time. And the plane does crash, but he already released his payload, so... Doesn't really matter. But that, that was an A half-track, that was a mortar half-track. That, that, ger that German half-track was a mortar half-track, because this guy has a doctrine that allows mortar half-tracks. Alright, maybe if you combine, like, a breakthrough fragmentation... Sorry, uh... A fragmentation bomb, big armor push, that might help, but I I don't know. I feel like the allies have way too much AT and infantry coverage for just armor to push in without additional support of some type. Speaking of support, here comes Hold the Line. It's shooting more at planes, but still, if they cross into enemy territory, they will be shot at. Panther's trying to break through. Werfer actually gets a decent hit. I get CFG section, but again, doesn't kill it. They need to kill it. Panther's pushing at the Fireflies. Can we actually kill one of them? Taz backing on up. Does kill a Panther. s 25s coming along the side. It's just a joke. It's literally, they're being hit by all angles, right? Every single way they can be hit at, they're being hit. There's just too many uh, tank destroyers, too much to focus on, and they're, they're spreading out their attention. It's, they need to... Yeah. It's just, it's just not, yeah, they're just being absolutely demolished as they advance. Meanwhile, German forces once again try to push mid. KV-2 just blasting the infantry. Panzer Dead here is trying to flank around. Which is not a bad idea. They do get around the MG. KV-2, though, can concentrate a fire on one position and, yeah, it brings out about half health. Meanwhile, Jagdpanzer hits in mid. Uh, almost kills the Panzer here, though down to half health. Let's see. Again, we're inspiring the troops around them, which helps out. Jagdpanzer gets pushed back. We have some strike coming on in. That's mortar coverage. Germans did successfully take mid. I'll give them credit. But they did also just lose that Panzer Grenadier squad and give the... Oh, I was going to say give the penals to Shrek. That's actually not a bad find. Croc coming in to burn away the infantry. So they might not be able to hold on to this point for long. British coming back with all infantry and armor support. Again, they still have the munition point over here. So the allies are getting 68 munitions per turn. Like, that's insane. Germans getting 36. They're getting more fuel. They have more cap. They're, they're at least getting that fuel. But still, that's not great. 
some bouncing occurring. Werfer comes on in. Doesn't really hit all that much. The Werfers have not really paid off. Firefly, though, may pay off. Gets a nice flank on the Panther. Tiger returning fire, though. Volk squads need to move up to Faust him. German forces still holding somehow. Armor just quickly being healed thanks to all the, the Royal Engineers on the front. And, of course, you have all the factories back here that can heal. Or repair stations, sorry. Germans still have a lot of armor on the right. Again, it's just it's just the Firefly line that immediately sends them back. Brumbar, very lucky to escape once again. Pack Gun just trying to get shots on the Cromwell. Werfer, can you actually kill something? Wait. No. He did not. He almost killed the Commandos, but did not actually get the kill. And again, I feel bad for calling them out, but they only have like, they don't have that many kills in the grand scheme of things. Like, Croc, 22 kills. Done a solid job. Oh, Comet flanking the, the King Tiger. That had to be recently deployed. Using war speed as well. Piat's opening fire. Comet does go down. That's unfortunate. But, Yagpons are now being hit. Can we get kill on some armor? It doesn't have to be the King, just kill something. Oh, this panther's done. I'm surprised they don't snare it, but I'm assuming they think they... Oh, we can just kill it. There it goes. Not worth a comment, but at least the panther did die. Another recon going overhead. Big push on the right-hand side. Fireflies and Cromwells being absolutely torn apart. Werfer finally gets a kill! Holy crap! It's a miracle! Gradiers with a PTRS rifle. I don't understand that, but whatever. Stu gets taken out, though just decrewed, not killed. Uh, again, maybe foul some of this stuff. So it's injured, maybe. S25, uh, fo maybe focus on that. Pack gun out of range. Stu finally gets killed. S25, though, I think it's gonna die. But most of Taz's armor did escape. Okay, maybe not. Can we can we kill it? We haven't even killed the SU-85. Come on, Panther. Do that, at least. Oh, Cromo gonna maybe come in to kill it. Vet 3, will it? No nope, bounces. He's like, uh, I made a mistake. Uh, Fireflies, though, will put that Panther down. The other one goes down, too. So a lot of dead armor. And I think that, that's all the offensive armor that was on this side. Yeah, that's all the Panthers and Stukes. Maybe... We can, if you survive long enough, you can do another Faust and kill this Firefly. That would be good. Get a few more seconds. There we go. That's not a bad kill. Todd Health. Help me, Step Pro. I'm stupid. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, I will say good kill right there. At least they got that. Maybe Is that guy have the PTRS? Oh, he has a Shrek. That's how he killed it. Okay. He might actually kill this Firefly with that if he doesn't come up. So Taz lost most of his armor, but... Oh, no, the infantry is going to save it. It'll be fine. In mid, the Germans did take that position. The armor is heavily damaged, though. And there's a lot of tank destroyers. The S-25 could die here. Not S-25, sorry. The King Tiger. Great shot on the KV-2, killing the Panzer, uh, Panzer Grandier. King Tiger, leave. Survive for another day. Why don't you? Zeroing's coming in, but again, there's nothing engaging all the armor and entangling them. So they can just back out of the zone. Jagdpanzer, while amazing at Vet 4, is probably going to die thanks to the Firefly charging and direct, doing a direct shot. No, Tiger actually... Wow, okay. Tiger takes the hits. Can he kill the Firefly? That would be big because that would bring Panta down to just a single crocodile. Axis... Kinda coming back, but it's it, uh, German Firefly lost it's like yes and no. Sure, they're getting kills. And the Germans are averaging like mid 70s, so that's not bad at all. But the Allies, the Allies have been brought down. They're like mid 70s too. Zeroing now co coming into effect because again, there's actually fighting going on, but then it just ended. Tiger Ace on the field, very interesting. Halud finally deploy that. Again, Werfers. Still on the front. Okay. Commando's trying to secretly take the point. I like Taz's style. And we still have infantry section guard taking mid. So at the very least, the Allies will still have two victory points so they can keep the Axis, you know, wearing them down overall. 
Again, I do like the fact that most of the artillery has just been null and void, which is making them rely on Warfers. Now, Watch Mr.'s Warfer doing great. Like, 28 kills. The other one, it's not so much. Allies relying mostly on armor, and that's worked out pretty well. Again, Tiger Ace using emergency repairs to heal it pretty damn quick. Heals about 350 uh, HP. So, yeah. Heals it very quickly. Fireflies on standby. Alright, Rungeneer moving up. A uh, decent shot. Good shot from the Brumbar. Or but again, they need more than one point. Or Ken Wiffer trying to do its best. Oh, here comes uh, Watchmister. And a Yagpanzer Vet 4. That's something. Croc might be in some serious hurt right now. Three Panthers. Oh, wait. Hold on. He's like, call an ambulance, but not for me. 17-pounder lurk. And the croc lured him all into a trap. AT and uh, Piazza will kill this panther. The tiger and king tiger and the icons are all walking into uh, this 17-pounder. Should have turned. But whatever. Okay, yeah. 17-pounder should not. Okay, just finish it off while you're there. There we go. Turn the big gun. And have the Piots hold the front, and yeah, the Allies got this. Crocs still managed to live. Again, we uh, not enough to throw in artillery, but as long as it stays on the point, it's GG. Almost killing that. Again, Yagpanzer is still on the front, about to die here thanks to 70 pounder. Oh no, he killed it! Hot dog. Oh no, Piots. Piot's murder. It's, King Tiger survived, but yeah, it's GG. Okay. I like the final charge. That was fun. <laughs> They're like, we got this. We'll push up all armor. What could they have? A 17 pounder? Proceeds to run to a 17 pounder. That that was fun. Th that was a lot of fun. All right. Taz, top damage and top kills. Good job. Commandos were great. A good amount of infantry and armor. Um, again, and uh, actually, Winks. Was third, by the way, in damage and kills. The worst player was German guy. But here's the thing. German guy was actually being effective by focusing on the artillery and making sure the four LEFHs that were deployed immediately put down before they became a nuisance. Um, and then the Axis had to rely on Werfers, and we saw that went. Uh, Cesarent had a good armor uh, and AT, so top damage there. Top kills goes to... Uh, watch mister and I think that was because of his tiger. I thought his tiger actually got a decent kill count with his infantry But we'll see Man to 17 pounder if G section also did quite well. I don't think he lost that much. No, he did not So good K uh, good preservation wings is s 85 He's got 25k damage uh, Preservation yeah, not the best but still he held out um, And it was good support had better uh, Damage than a certain player German guy again not great, but again Provide good support. And that's what was needed. Uh, Taz, 30, nearly 34k in damage with a Firefly. Solid stuff there. Plenty of kills. Um, yeah, sure. He may have lost an infantry section and his commandos may have perished. But overall, did quite a number of damage with his infantry. So good job there. And his, and his Cromwells. Can't forget about his Cromwells. Uh, Cesarent, his Jagdpanzer. He did lose one. But I, the Vet 5 one was doing solid work. Um, let's see here. Uh, watch Mr... About 15k for his Panthers. So, yeah, not as good as the Fireflies or the SU-85 there. Panzer Grandiers did about 75. But, again, not great in the kill count department. Robson's packs it okay. So, yeah, German's kind of mixed bag after so. Uh, once you get into it. But, hey, a good I, that was a good game to end the day on. Thank you to... to I, wait, I could be wrong. But I think it was Taz who submitted this. And he, he said, hey... Look how good German guy's doing, and look how good Winx did with support, and Manta did with his croc. So, great job for submitting this. Thank you again uh, for doing that. And again, if you have a replay, submit down below for my Discord Gmail. And again, if you want to support the channel, if you're watching this live on Twitch, hit the follow button. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like, subscribe button. It really does help.
But anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. It's been GrayShot17, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is GrayShot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters JoeyG240, Malab, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support and in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.